Well, it's nice to kind of get off the beaten path and not mm -hmm. see anybody else there, you know, uh, kind of have the entire Death Valley to yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's really why you go as far as you go, to get away from the city and away from people. Mm -hmm. Sand, rocks. So it's, it's easy for a car to get ripped up and torn apart. So on top of that, um, what we do is we drive away from the city and you, you can go anywhere from 15 miles to 100 miles deep away from into the city. No cell phone reception, um, no internet. Sucks. Um, so you're going to need to know where you're going. At the same time, you want to be safe because if anything happens to your car, you're not going to walk 100 miles uh, back home. Um, so preparation is very important. Water, food, uh, first aid kit in case somebody gets hurt. Extra gas. Sometimes you explore, you run out of gas, you have too much fun, and you realize you don't have enough gas to get back home. So uh, definitely plan how many miles and how much gas you're going to need. Uh, those are some of the main preparations you want to do with first. So, um, what kind of activity we can do in the middle of the desert, you know, besides driving? Uh, suntan. <laughs> Sandboard. I heard you sand. guys were watching a movie, right? <laughs> Watch, oh yeah, so we watched a movie out in the desert. We have uh, a few friends who are into video producing and they, they really love entertainment, Hollywood movies. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, one of the things they did was they brought some of their favorite movies out to the desert so we could watch and uh, make some of our own movies. Mm -hmm. And you guys like set up a fire, do a, is that a, doing a barbecue or something? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, fire. Marshmallow s'mores. Yeah, everything. Full, full fire, three meals a day, Rice orange wine. juice, coffee in the morning. You still have to be comfortable and civilized, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I heard that like, the weather is kind of bad there, right? like this kind of ginger, she told me that there's like a sandstorm right there, is that dangerous? It's not really dangerous, it's more uncomfortable and challenging, but you know, big giant sand dunes are created by wind, so you do need the wind to have the dunes to play on, and part of that is the wind keeps the people away, so it makes it more fun. Yeah, there's, there's one thing to understand is, in the city we're sheltered by the buildings, by the comfortable weather, uh, AC, heaters. Yeah, I remember when we're out there, there's none of these luxuries and you're going to have to deal with real world environments. So, first of all, mentally be prepared. I'm going to have to deal with it. If you're not mentally prepared, you're not going to have fun. You're just going to be complaining. Get comfortable with it. This is called life. This is the world. Um, I heard of the middle of the desert, but uh, is there any like a dangerous animal out there, like a coyote or something? There are scorpions, mm -hmm. snakes. Um, fortunately, we had uh, one bite, one scorpion bite. Fort not fortunately, but fortunately, it wasn't a poisonous bite. Uh, but th there are things you need to be aware about. There are poisonous bugs out there. Not bugs, but scorpions, snakes as well. So. Um, you gotta be aware, be cautious where you're moving, where you're stepping. Um, that's one of the things one of our guys did not do, and he got bit. Fortunately, he was safe. So. Uh, basically, it's very desert to uh, to visit there for at least one spot. Yeah, you have to experience. It. Mm -hmm. you, you have to. Well, I mean, think totally about it. Mother Nature, right? The scenic. If, some if it was safe, it would not be fun. Mm, that's right. Uh, you gotta take risks, and part of having fun is. Surviving the risks, I guess. 你们喜欢我们的节目吗？喜欢的话记得订阅哦。我们是 Kelly Navi， 那我们在 Facebook、YouTube 还有 YouTube 上面都有哦。